Bande Matram. Good morning. We are going to have a great discussion on a great topic that is on two transformations in this integral yoga. So very um, beautiful topic. We are going to discuss uh, from the writings of Sri Aurobindo, taking help of Sri Aurobindo's philosophy of course. We are going to discuss on two transformations in this integral yoga. The line we know we are pursuing the integral yoga. So integral yoga, yoga you know integral yoga in where all the yogas end that, uh, that, is, that, that point is the beginning of the integral yoga. So we are considering, we are pursuing, of course, we are in the path of this integral yoga. Now uh, we'll see two transformations as, um, of course, Sri Aurobindo has emphasized on this transformation. Uh, we will see what the basic two transformations uh, that is normally marked, normally, of course, accompanied, accomplished in this um, integral yoga. Share in the course here very beautifully. I have written upon uh, there are two transformations in this yoga. The first is when the psychic being comes forward. We know there is a psychic being that is the spark of the absolute um, that is there inside in the uh, cave of the heart. So it is in, uh, almost hidden, impassive, concealed uh, like this it is in, the, in that position. So first when the psychic being comes forward and the controls and changes the nature, the not only comes forward, three things it has to do. First of all, it has to come forward. Second one, it has to control. And the third, it has to change the nature. If it is happened, that is what the, uh, has happened in somebody's letters here in the course, that is happening, happening in some people we have seen. And um, of course, the most complete uh, it is there in the um, finds it is also done. It is not also in uh, only uh, one emphasis or only a promise, but it is a certainty. Uh, it has been ascertained. The second one, the descent of the mother's consciousness from above the head. Initially, the first one is the psyche must come forward, it must control, it must change the nature. Second, the mother's consciousness from above the head uh, will must descend and it's a transformation of the whole being and nature that will that will take place with the descent of the mother's consciousness from above so both the things uh, we can feel, feel these are the requirement these are the necessity initially we have to do for that we have to um, go for the call, we have to go for the willingness, then we must have the aspiration, we must have equanimity, then and finally it is the surrender that is the most, that is the most requirement. Anyway, as you are in the course, um, um, the wideness and that light will afterwards will come down into you. Wideness, of, and, wideness and the light of what? Of the mother's force that will come down into the human body, into you, and your consciousness will be changed to the light and wideness and all that is uh, that is required, that is done. Uh, already we know, uh, when we talk about the transformation, of course, uh, this is uh, here in the course, transformation and supramental, supermind, these are the two terms uh, have been created by, invented by Sri Aurobindo. So very interestingly, we'll see that a transformation already we know one form will go, another form will come. So we can also provide the bright example that um, what happens, um, this um, caterpillar changes to butterfly. The uh, it condition satisfied. The form of the caterpillar, uh, caterpillar it is actually uh, getting subtracted, it is getting vanished and a new form is coming that is butterfly. Again, we can go get the examples of science, like for um, thousands of years, this breeze is getting dipped, drowned under the underground, it is going underground, grounded. So um, then after some few years, many years, it is getting changed to the black diamond that is cold. And after many years, of course, nobody knows how many years it is, but it is a long departure, then comes the diamond. So diamond is the permanent and a transformed state of this um, trees and all, but it is getting drowned, it is getting dipped, it is getting underground. 
so nobody can uh, expect that it has this diamond has come <coughs> of course uh, from this um, ordinary um, this uh, trees and the plants everything so it has happened like these two transformations here in the course here in the uh, in magically is here in the course here <coughs> so again uh, sphere in the goes little deep deep movements of the longing of for the divine in the heart as for the heart the movement of longing in the, for the divine weeping sorrowing yearning are not essential in this yoga these are not at all helpful not at all essential weeping sorrowing and yearning not essential so a strong aspiration what is then then if these are not required then what is required the strong aspiration that must be an intense longing that may be very well an ardent love and will for union with the divine <coughs> but uh, there need be no sorrow or disturbance no sorrow or disturbance categorically um, fluently still in the course these are not required these are not necessary the quiet and silent you feel uh, that that is the feeling uh, that is due to the result of the pressure of the higher consciousness that has come down and building pressure so this quiet and silence that is felt up here again <clears throat> that quietude in the mind and heart and the descent of the great peace and silence it can be understood because of this transformation this because of this um, pressure of this higher consciousness and light from above in the silent heart and mind there must be true attitude in the silent heart and mind there must be true attitude of course and uh, thus um, uh, you can feel the mother's um, um, <clears throat> when you are the mother child you can feel, um, feel that faith and the will to be united with her that must persist it is required and the, with this requirement with the call with that trust with that willingness with that aspiration things will be mobilized again uh, we, we have seen um, uh, some many many uh, places we have seen that psychic attitude once here in the course again uh, points about the um, um, phase psychic attitude and because this psychic is already controlling the controlling vital physical as well as the other parts of the nature so this psychic attitude it must be um, focused upon it must be stressed anyway uh, when we are going for the transformation couple of uh, beautiful um, uh, definitions as defined by sri aurobindo we can uh, just, we can quote here that will be more appropriate still in the course uh, very interestingly the transformation can only be done by a force infinitely greater than the man uh, man your own because your own force with which we are actually doing the sadhana we are actually get, getting aggressive and all that is not required and uh, additional power that the power um, force infinitely greater than the man's force is required so then again sir in the course of course nobody can transform himself by his own unaided effort so there must be an effort uh, unaided effort must be there and from uh, it is without the unaided effort this transformation is next to impossible it can't be done so nobody can do it so <clears throat> then again also here in the course uh, man can't by his own effort make the um, uh, make himself more than just a man man with his own effort maximum to is the level best he can become the you can attain the um, level of the man not it can't exceed he can't exceed the at best he can attain the um, consciousness of man the level of the man against your in the course beautifully a transformation of the body is the must be the condition for the total transformation of the nature for that actually for the transformation of body the work we are in, um, doing we are actually focusing upon the work to a larger extent because this is also we are stressing as the gita yoga uh, we are karma on karma yoga we are giving uh, lying more emphasis on then still in the course it is not a hope but certitude something so somebody may feel that it is a hope something can happen so many permutation combination so many probability so many calculations and all it is there but here in the denied denies everything we clearly here in the course it is not the hope but a substitute that a complete transformation of the nature will take place complete transformation of the nature will take place it is not a hope but substitute the secret of the transformation lies in the transformation of the center of living this we, this is our center of, of living this is in a scenario in a point in a of course in a plane that plane that point of reference must be shifted so the secret of transformation lies in the transformation of the transference of our center of living to a higher consciousness 
in the present consciousness of course we have risen got we have risen from ordinary consciousness to this level to many um, uh, many um, sadhana or yogi process but actually this reference has to be this uh, reference point um, that must be of course um, uh, um, uh, center of living it has to be um, elevated and the change under uh, in a change of our main power of living main power of living there must be change and the second thing transformation of transference of our center of living that is a center of living power of living both the center both the point um, both that must be elevated and it must be changed so these are the things that is required for the transformation it is certitude it can be done without the unaided effort the thing can be done thing is that we have to be that much serious and we must be cautious enough to, to go on that way anyway uh, next we will go for that uh, <coughs> few lines we will see um, this on um, this um, no, what exactly we can do so here in the course a couple of lines like uh, biraha uh, so biraha we you know that separation um so many times also of course we have seen the song biraha that is that um, in that um, of course religious uh, band of mind the people kill there is a biraha one rasa is there anyway still in the course uh, biraha is a transitional experience on the play on of the vital seeking for the spirit biraha is a transitional experience not the course transition transitional experience on the play of the vital seeking for the spirit many times in the normal human sphere we feel that biraha uh, we love her and love the wife and husband this has been there is a parted in the many most of the film in the stories uh, in most of the um, dramas we feel that the biraha but these are the vital factors but so far this um, uh, yoga and yogic term biraha is concerned it is related to spirit there is no reason why it should not be possible as a quiet in the early stage. Viraha early stage also possible it can come. It is the realization without any oneness. This Viraha, this realization, this Rasa. So it, without any oneness it can be realized. Realization in pure Ananda and, it, and that belongs to the more developed Sadhana. So this is the record. This is the requirement. It can also come in the early stage. That is uh, not actually. If it is not in the vital, it if it, it is related to the spirit, then it is okay. Of course, it is a um, it occupies a great value. Anyway, as you in the Ekan course beautifully, the pure feeling of biraha is psychic, nothing vital in it. It the pure feeling of biraha is psychic, but it is uh, if rajasik or tamasik moments come in. So, Biraha with uh, de like uh, depression, complaint, revolt. If such things are affecting this Biraha, then naturally it is Ramasik, Tamasik, or Rajasik. Otherwise, if it is uh, the pure, it is, that is, it is packed with purity, pure, pure feeling that is actually psychic. Then, this separation on separations here in the course, very interestingly, that we must be known, and the, therefore, with the transformation process, we should must start. Pangs of separation belongs to the vital, already we have discussed uh, this vitality that brings the power of separation, so there is depression, complaint, revolt, in fear, sweeping like this. But uh, uh, not to the psychic. <coughs> the psychic having no pangs need not express them. The psychic is always turned towards the divine in faith, joy and confidence. Three things, as we have seen in the vitality, three things, dip, uh, depression, complaint and revolt, and also here, in the psychic biraha, we can see divine um, um, turning towards the divine with uh, faith, joy, and the confidence that is there. Further, the aspiration um, it has to the full of trust and hope that is requirement. Again, uh, here in the course, sooner or later, sooner you must you get rid of the abhiman or hunger that ego that is better. Anyone who is um, indulges abhiman put himself under the influence of the hostile forces. That is be definitely anywhere, anytime there must be a multi-angular you know, attack from the hostile forces. Abhiman has to nothing to do with true love. It is like a jealousy, a part of the Bhaikadali equation. So this transformation we have to aspire.